Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Pixelmon from the Pixelmon Let's Go server. My name is Dave and I'll be your host for this episode as always. I found an execute. And these, I don't know, I, I always thought this is a cool Pokemon. Because it's several. It's so many. And I want to catch it. I, I'm not sure if I've seen one yet. I think I've actually seen a you since the update? I'm not sure. Did I? Did I not? I want to have it for sure. Uh, at some point we should work a bit more on actually finishing the, 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 the Pokedex for Gen 1. And this is a Gen 1 Pokemon, so this is higher on the priority list at the moment. It broke free again. Is this how you want to play, huh? Do I have... Don't I think I have anything I can actually paralyze it with. I guess I'll just throw some Ultra Balls at it. Until I hear of it. You can also wait till nighttime and use the Dusk Balls, but this should be enough. Never mind, Brophy. Dang it! So, for today, I have not much planned just yet. I have one thing in mind that I want to try out. It has been suggested in the comments uh, of last episode. <laughs> Capture, execute. The thing that I want to do is I want to try taking a picture of one of the frillishes. Frilli fr frillishes. 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 Frillish, fr frillishes? Yeah, those. Uh, I want to take a picture of them. There are the um, cameras in this game. And you can take photos of your books with them. You may have seen them over here at the Wall of Lag, which has been taken down, partially, and over here. And you get a photo like this of your Pokémon. Now the question is, what happens if we do one of these? Since there is nothing. Do we get a photo or do we crash the server? Hmm, do I wanna risk it? I don't think it will crash the server, I, I really don't. Um, but we probably get a funny image of this, that this, this, this pattern. So that'll be interesting. Now here's the thing, I do not have a camera or the film that you use it with it. Ah, film camera. Who, who remembers that? I do. And all the fun that comes with it. Like, taking a photo on top of another photo. And having ghost images in your images. Those were the days. Um... Yeah, so maybe Tilted is selling one. Uh, I don't know. It's just a good rod. Basically worth this. Come on, Tilted. Uh, there we are. Uh, cameras. She wants two that is 5,000. I can do that. But I'm gonna need some film as well. And nothing there. I'll buy the camera for sure. And I guess we'll have to craft the film ourselves. Earth plate, mind plate, sound plate. Nothing interesting. Obviously there won't be any film in here. I still want to have a look at it in case there's something cool. Ooh, a coin amulet. Not bad, not bad. I have one, so I don't need a second one. Never seen this thing. All right, well, I'm gonna take the photo, uh, the camera. Let's play Tilted. She's currently online. I'm actually recording in the evening at the moment, which I usually don't do because of how my day normally goes. Uh, I should record more in the evening, though, because there are just more people on. Transfer Tilted Wings 5,000. <laughs> Sweet. Now we need film. With ink, paper, and redstone, we can have the film. And I have no idea how this works. Uh, do I do something like this, maybe? No? Okay. The camera in my hand. Do I do something with this? Okay. So it shows top right how many things we have. Let's go up to a camera. Up. Do I do... Uh, huh. 
That didn't work. <laughs> Maybe the Growlithe? Oh my. Uh huh. I hit it. Now we have a Growlithe photo. Hmm. Let's quickly set up a item frame and have a look at it. And then I want to see what happens if we take a picture of our frillish. That could be funny. Um, leather should be here. Let's make two of them. For some reason, there are sticks in there. That's odd. I never keep sticks in there. All right, so there is our Growlithe right there. Okay, now moment of truth. Let's hope nothing weird happens. Huh? <laughs> Not quite what I expected. Uh, that's kind of weird. Huh. I'm gonna guess the same would also happen if we take a picture of Jellicent. Uh, let's try that. So let's send out our Jellicent. Right there. And take a picture of it. Pretty much exactly the same. That's so weird. I wish that would be a cool color at least. That's so odd. Yeah, what happens? We rename this. Can I do that? I can. So let's call this Missing No. How was that spelled? Okay, the screenshots that I found with my two second Google search are all caps, missing no, and have a dot or a period, or, or whatever you want to call that. There you go. Nice. Let's go around and, and play with people. Haha, <laughs> Etho seems intrigued. He thinks it's shields, but it's not shields, no. Uh, let's throw him this thing. See what he thinks. <laughs> I wonder, what's that Pokemon? Oh, those are so cool! Uh, it's... Photos. Haha. <laughs> Off this. Let's throw this thing up. Haha! <laughs> uh, it's so cool with his speedy boots. It's super funny. Nope. That's the fancy nine tails. <laughs> Let's see who else can we confuse. There's a bunch of people on at the moment. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I think Veteran is streaming currently. Maybe I can confuse her too. Before I leave, I think I have to catch one. Oh, wait, I have these! Iliop tiles. Oh, yeah. They look really cool though. I kinda like them. They look super derpy. And super happy. And careless. I kind of like him. I am out in the ice mountains looking for some more Alolan sand truths. 
after messing with Etho and the whole um, invisible Pokemon images, um, I joined Fedrin on her stream, and I wanted to see uh, what she thinks about the images, but uh, about the photos. But she knew it. Um, she knew of the invisible Pokemon and the uh, purplish black tile thingy that it uh, did, so uh, when I told her that I wanted to show her a picture, I want to see what she thinks, she immediately caught on to it. Uh, she then told me, well, we were talking about some other things because of that, and she told me that the way she tried to get ice stone shards is by fishing. As it turns out, during the daytime, you can fish in uh, frozen biomes, and you have a chance, a very small chance, of getting an ice stone shard. Obviously, that, that's very helpful. Um, did I turn down the game by any chance? Um, yeah, obviously that's very helpful because you only get the Alolan Sandshrews during nighttime. I can now fish during daytime and hopefully, because of that, have a higher chance actually getting something. During uh, that yesterday, I got one uh, shard from the Alolan Zantrus. I haven't gotten anything from fishing, and Federin said she also didn't get anything from fishing just yet. Well, no. Uh, I stone shard, so we still only have one of those. Uh, I don't think I have extras, right? Pretty sure all the uh, stones that I got I used for the one stone. Like all the shards that I got I used for the one stone. So probably no Alolan Sand Slash this episode. Although that would be really cool. I would like it. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh man, look at that. I got an orb. Perfect. There was a bus M for us here and I thought I'll quickly take it on. I was about to go over there and do some more fishing, but I take the orb. This is really what we're looking for in this episode, to be honest. Kind of the only thing that I wanted to accomplish. Well, I also would like to have the the, the uh, ice stone, but uh, I don't think that would be realistic. Now, we have this orb, and we can start filling it up. So we have the Moltres, and I think... Oh, I said I want to have the Zapdos next, right? I don't like the Zapdos too much, and I think it has a really obnoxious streak. So, I would say we start with the... Wait. How do you make it for the Articuno? What stone? Do you need an ice stone now? Or is it a water stone? I gotta look that up real quick. Oh, wow. Lucky, lucky me. They didn't change it, apparently. So, with a water stone, you still get the Orb of Frozen Souls. Realistically, this should be an ice stone thing. But... It's not, so I'm not gonna complain. We now have an Orb of Frozen Souls, which is nice. I can now go and kill a bunch of Pokemon and fill this thing up. How, how many did it still need? Um, 357. That will take an episode or two, most likely, but we can do it. Um, what do we do in the meantime, though? Hmm, I think the first thing I wanna do is actually check up on these things. Now, I thought... Uh, with the uh, shards, you can actually spawn in the Kyogre, but uh, that's that's not a thing, no. With this, you can only craft an orb to kind of like Mega Evolve the Kyogre into its primal form. So, less interesting than I thought, for sure. I'll have a look at how many of this stuff I have. I think I have one or two more... Over at the tower. Let's head, let's head over to the tower. Let's see how many I have. Looks like I got two more. I guess that's not bad. We now have six of them. We need ten, so four more. But that's just a little bit more of fishing. Not that I have a reason to fish at the moment. Because I already have the Orb of Frozen Souls. For my Articuno. But uh, we'll, we'll need another one for Zapdos. I wonder if... Tilted is actually selling these orbs. She probably is, and probably not for too much. I was thinking about that while fishing uh, during last episode. I could probably just buy one, since they are fairly abundant for other people. Since they fish more for 
loots. Let's see. Where would they be? Nothing there. Nothing here. Nothing there. Just checking if there might be an ice stone in there, but uh, that would be insane, to be honest. <laughs> Not in there, not in there, not in there, none of the plates, obviously no TMs, and not a miscellaneous. So, looks like she isn't selling them, which means it's good that I actually farm for it. Alright then, time to start filling this thing up. I made it to the Haunted Towers, and things have changed a little bit, it looks like. There's no roof on top, and there's this thing, with one of these blocks here. Which doesn't go anywhere, obviously, because there's nothing top and below. It probably is useful to have, like, platforms next to it to go up and down. So you don't run into the pokes all the time, but... And only one platform... Isn't, I don't think. I mean, unless... You can always find pokes up and down. Whatever the case, we're here to fill this thing up. We need 374. I don't think we'll get all of them. Actually, I also want to do another thing. While we're killing all the pokes, we should try to level up our pick-up fans. I'm gonna have my Donphan, because the Donphan knows some good attacks. I gotta teach my fan piece some good attacks in the future as well. So we get these guys here, we'll take items from them so they can actually pick something up. Um... We put that stuff in here, that's full. Yeah, whatever then. Whatever. Let's just start doing things. Let's see. Level 72, 45, 46, 72, and 65, uh, 56. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Oh, it, this one is immune to... Uh, ground type attacks. It's important to know. See electric type hit. Killed it. Okay. And that's the first one. 373 to go. Now, for some reason, at some point, I turned this stuff down and I forgot to turn it back up. Sableye spawned here. Ah, oh, that's probably because of the roof. That's new. These never spawned here before. Or well, maybe that's because of the uh, update. I don't know. Earthquake. One of the fan peas has leveled up. No, I'm not giving them a uh, Everstone. Well, I don't think that's too useful here in this case. I'd rather sell the, the Everstones, to be honest. Okay, Chandelure, let's see if I can do Earthquake against it. Yep, sure can. Alright, let's keep the hotbar open. So we see when we actually pick up some items here. And again, nothing. These still have pickup, though, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Because they haven't picked up anything yet. Oh, he's up below. It's a lot of Pokemon. Okay. And picked up nothing from that. Did pickup change? We should have. Oh, wait. Now, uh, we should have a pretty good chance here of actually picking up items with this. Uh -huh. There we go, we got a Premier Ball. That's a start. Not the best thing, but it's a start. Okay. Through pickup, you can actually also get um, the orbs. That was definitely something that people have recommended to me. I heard a Gengar. So definitely want to fight the Gengar. Yep, that one. All the levels. Uh, it's a Giga Impact. Does that work? Nope, it does not. Okay, Thunder Fang. Come on. Nope. Well, it's oh, we got a big root. That one's new. And there's the Gengar. Gengar should be killed with one earth. Never mind. We are out of PP for earthquake. Do thunder fang. All right. Going strong. Ghosts are killing themselves. 
Another one. New item picked up. Ooh, another Gengar. Where's the Gengar? Haha! <laughs> oh, so the big ones for the levels. Oh, wow, and actually, the first one to survive an attack from it. Second one took it down. And we want to evolve, and we got one of those weird berries. A Tuga berry. Don't think they're too useful, to be honest. Okay, we made it up to... 363 needed. I think I'm gonna farm to about 300. And then we'll have a look at the items that we got. Fancy sunset next to the haunted towers. 299 more chaos to, uh, for the orb to be full. So I did go over the 300, or below the 300, I guess. And in this chest are all the things that we got from it. Now, obviously a bunch of gas tears, since... That's just what these Pokemon drop, same with the torches and the soul sand, that's just normal drops. Also the ender pearls and the dusk stone shard. I think the rest is all pickup stuff. I don't, I'm not sure about the coal and the amethyst, that might just be from uh, the sable eyes. But yeah, the rest should be all from pickup. Nothing too interesting, I don't think. Um, the Premier Bolts d don't do as much as I think, uh, as much as I would have hoped. We got Dragon Rage, pretty sure I have this one already, but I think it's pretty decent. We have an Ether, which is alright, it uh, refreshes PP, it's always good. A Dire Hit, which I don't know what it does, and we got a stick! Nice! A stick! Pretty sure this is a good held item for Farfetch'd. At least it looks like Farfetch'd, right? Probably gonna trash most of this. Let's see, what do I wanna with, take with me? I wanna have the Ender Pearls. Those are nice. We can fill up on a sack of torches. Um, I'll take that, that, that. That and that. Do I need the cell battery? I still don't know what these are for. Let me check. The wiki says a cell battery is a health item that boosts the holder's attack by one stage if hit by an electric type moves. Uh, and is consumed once this happens. We can give this one of our Pokemons, and if we get attacked by an electric type uh, attack, it will increase the attack by one stage, and then we lose the battery. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if that's such a good item, but we can, we can have it. We can hold it. Uh, sure, why not? It also says that it can be used to craft cameras, and then the um, the, the recipe it shows for the cameras doesn't have the cell batteries in it. So, that's probably just a relic of um, the old old wiki, how things used to be. Um, the big root... Uh, I'm not sure if this helps. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm taking this thing. The dust stone chart. And the rest I'll probably trash. I have a bunch of these. I don't know what these do. Maybe I'll take that one. Yeah. The rest is trash, though. Say hello to the world's first legendary garbage disposal. Thanks a lot, Moltres, for burning all the garbage. Very nice. And the rest I'll take back home. Here, you can fly me, even. Sweet. Okay, it's time to head back home to the... the savannah. And see about the goings-ons there. Uh, in, was it the last episode or episode before, I noticed that I only have four Ninetales roaming around at the moment. And people have said that you can only have two Pokemon currently out at, at a time per ranch block. What kind of crappy change is that? I want to have all my Pokes roaming around. That sucks. Really bad. I had 12 Ninetales just roaming around, and I wanted to add more. Now I have... Four. That's not nice. I gotta craft a bunch more... Ranch blocks, I think. Then I'll have those everywhere. Ah, that's so annoying. Uh, well... We gotta deal with that somehow. I still wanna have all the pokes... 
roaming around. Probably the same thing with the EVs. I haven't even noticed that yet. Just there. I would like to give you an update on another thing that I was talking about in an earlier episode. That was the audiobook of El Catching El Chapo or Hunting El Chapo, I think it was called. I said that I'll probably finish that eight hour audiobook within one day. Uh, I did. Um, yeah, the day after I recorded that bit, I actually finished it. I'm currently listening to different audiobooks, but um, I got into another thing. I often get into some things and I obsessively watch videos about it. I think the first time I noticed me doing that was when I started watching a bunch of videos about beekeeping. I don't, I'm not a beekeeper and I don't want to be a beekeeper. My cousin was really allergic to bees, so whenever something was buzzing, he was freaking out. And I was like four, five, six years when I was first exposed to that, so I have a paranoia for that as well. But I start freaking out sometimes when there are bees around. Usually I can contain myself. It's not that I scream and run away, it, but it makes me uneasy often. Although I know that's completely stupid. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely not in getting into beekeeping myself, but I watched a lot of videos of it, and I found it really interesting. Well, the current thing, after a bunch of other stuff, what I'm currently gotten into is watching what's in the box kind of videos, like um, storage locker auctions and the whole... Uh, Amazon customer returns pallets and stuff like that. I actually had to look into if I could order like a pallet of that myself. Um, just for the fun of it. Not thinking that I could make a lot of money with it, but just... I like the whole what's in the box kind of thing. You probably have noticed that about me by now. I like that whole thing. Um, but turns out, shipping that stuff to Germany, like, it, it is a thing. I can do that. But um, I am expected to have a forklift and enough storage for a truckload of items. And, uh, and yeah, that's not a thing. So I'm pretty sure that will never happen. I'm also sure that that's more of just a fad. Like, I find that stuff really interesting at the moment. But that, that'll probably change. Although, it would probably be a fun thing to get into. Like a lot of things. I'm interested in a, a wide array of things. That I never actually do anything with. Bam! Uh, why am I bringing this up? Uh, because of that, I've watched a few auction videos, and the auction auctioneer. Do you call them the auctioneers? The guys that actually sell the stuff or like lead the auction. In English, it's so weird trying to understand what the hell they are saying, being German, because they're talking so fast, and I never understood them. Well, I. I used to never understand them. Turns out now I do. I, I understand what they're saying. That they're just re constantly repeating the numbers and giving suggestions of what people should bet. And then lowering that suggestion until nobody says a thing and then they they, they, they sell it at that price. So, that was a nice thing today when I realized that my English has gotten that much better that I can now understand the extremely fast rambling of a dude that tries to sell somebody else's stuff. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Thought I'd let you know. Uh, I'm kind of happy that my English has progressed that far. Uh, because it's it's bad in a lot of areas outside of gaming. And just casual talk. Like, in, when it comes to normal things in everyday life, my English is actually pretty bad. Because I live in Germany, I don't need everyday English. Like, for just normal things. Like, what do you call those wooden boxes that I have my clothes in? I don't know. Another world for shelf. Uh, cupboard? Was that British? British English? Or is that... It's probably British English. Sounds kind of British. I don't even know if that's the right word, even. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. A shelving unit. How about that? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... Back to Pixelmon, though. Uh, I had a look at what this stick does, and the stick is indeed a item unique to Farfetch'd. You can give it a Farfetch'd, and it will boost its critical hit chance by two stages. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know, well, I know that it, it's good thing, a good thing to give it to it, obviously. But I don't know how these stages work exactly. Let's see, oh, what do you have? Oh, look at that item. Um, yeah, so I, I don't really know what these stages do. 
So I can't really tell you how good it is, but I think it's fairly good. There we go. Put the Chansey over here. I think the Chansey has a pre-evolution and an evolution? Question mark? I think. I don't know. I'm gonna ha uh, check that out. What's the item you have? Lucky Punch. I think that's what was actually good. I think I at some point heard somebody looking for one with those. And if people are looking for an item, they usually know what the item does and that it's valuable, so probably good. Huh. Oh well. In any case, I think it's time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy about our orb. That's nice. I'll fill this thing up. I don't think I'll have it filled up for next episode. If I do, then... Um, Yay, we can uh, spawn another Kuno and catch it next episode. But probably in the episode after that, or the episode after that, or the episode after that. I don't know. Uh, let me know if there's anything on your mind that you really want to see me do in one of the next episodes. But keep in mind, I do this, these videos daily, so I don't have that much time to set the episodes up. Um, It's kind of a thing. Also, I don't get paid to do these, so uh, I don't. It's not reasonable for me to spend all the time I have on this, although I do. Oh well. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you check back with me next time. Next episode video stream. Whatever it will be. And until then, see ya. <laughs>